In this video, we will learn how can we convert our cross tabulation to row percentage cross tabulation and column percentage cross tabulation and the joint probability cross tabulation. So first, before you watch this video, you should be able to create a cross tabulation based on the previous video, how to create a cross tabulation for two quantitative variables. So the table you are seeing here is the result from the previous um, video. So bef the first step, we need to do the, some preparation to create the, uh, to convert the cross tabulation. First, please choose the cross tabulation you already created and right click the mouse, click OK. And find the empty area and uh, let's right click the mouse, try to paste it. However, we should use the um, second uh, paste option called the values only. So we don't need any um, format. Uh, copied in, uh, pasted in this new f table. So let's say we call this table as mother table. And uh, based on this table, we will start to create the row percentage and column percentage and the joint probability cross tabulation. So first, choose this table and right click the mouse copy and uh, in the uh, empty, empty area and paste it again and only the value. So now, if we look at this table, and we will create our uh, row, row percentage cross tabulation uh, under this table. So let's see, name it as row. So now we were updating the number inside the table based on our mother table. So before I start to t uh, give you the tips on using Excel, I want you to re try to remind what we've learned in the class, what is the row percentage cross tabulation. So for row percentage cross tabulation it, uh, is we treat each row of the table as one sample, sub-sample set. So we ha totally have one, two, uh, two, one, two, three, four. So we total have four sub sample sites if we consider in row percentage cross tabulation. So in order to fill in the first cell here for first uh, uh, first cell in first row, so what we are doing is we will go back to look at our mother table. Use the first cell in first row divided by the grand total of the first row. And the second uh, cell in the first row here is in order to fill in here, and we'll use the uh, second cell in the first row to divide by the grand total of the first row. So everything first cell will every cell in the first row we will you we will use each cell in the first row to divide divide by, by the grand total of the first row. So let's work on the Excel. So first in your second paste the table type in equal sign and then we any number we will choose is from our mother table so we choose the first cell in the first row and uh, divide by the grand total of the first row however before you push the enter from your keyboard you need to have a um, uh, you need to think clearly uh, because for the rest of the cell in the first row, what we will do is we will use each cell divided by the grand total in the first cell. So obviously we can use the uh, the drop down function from Excel. So instead of drop down, we will drop to the left. And uh, however, when you keep updating the numerator, your denominator is not a change. So what we will do is before you enter the uh, before you push the enter on your keyboard, find F4 button. So push the F4 button. So now you will put the two dollar signs in your new denominator. One is uh, before the number, and other is before the letter. So now you can click enter on your keyboard. So we got zero for first cell in the first row. Then we move our mouse to the right down corner. And then the cross will change to the darker color and then drag to the right. So now we finished the first row of our row percentage cross tabulation. 
and then we will look at the second row so similar idea we will use the first cell in the first second row divided by the grand total of the first second row and then and we can use in the drop drop to the right function from Excel to finish the rest of the cell in second row. So let's work together. So in your second paste the table, type in the equal sign, and then go back to your mother table, choose the sec first cell in the second row, and then divide by the grand total of the second row, and uh, find the F4 on your keyboard, and, pu and uh, push the F4, and then you put a $2 sign on the denominator, and then push enter. And then choose the uh, on your second pasted uh, table. Choose the second cell, uh, first cell in your second row, and uh, drag to the right. So we will use the same idea to finish the rest of the cell. So equal sign for the third row, and uh, choose the third row's value in the mother cell, mother table, and divide by the grand total of the uh, third row, and push F four, click enter. And go back to your second paste the table, and choose the first cell in the second third row, and drag to the right. So that is our third row. So the last row equal the mother table divided by the grand total of the fourth row, and push F four, click en enter, and drag to the right. So now you want to ask me, how about the grand total? Actually, once we convert the cross tabulation to the percentage cross tabulation or probability cross tabulation, the grand total will not play an important role because it will be zero or one. So then, what we will do is we will delete it. So again, you can keep it there, but I prefer to delete it for myself. So if you are in the exam, if you still keep the a grand total that would be fine, but you need to know uh, the um, probability or percentage should come inside of this area. So that is the row percentage cross tabulation. So some of the student will say, "Oh, I want to convert to percentage because it's a percentage." So, but I want to say as uh, this is uh, the number here, there are probability. So which uh, uh, can give you exactly the same answer as percentage. So if you prefer to convert the percentage, what you can do is you can find uh, on the under the home tab there is a icon look like a percentage sign. So person person style. So you click the the person this icon. Then you convert every number here to percentage. However, again, if you don't convert it, that'll be fine. So now let's uh, look at our column percentage cross tabulation. So again, based on the mother cell, we need to copy the mother cell again, copy the mother table again, and uh, copy, and uh, paste in a uh, clear oh, empty area, and right click the mouse, choose the second one, value only. So let's name the new table as column percentage cross tabulation so now what we will do is uh, we need to think about what is per column percentage cross tabulation first so instead of treating each row as our uh, sub sample size sub sample and we treat each column as our sub sample so which means for each cell in order to get the percentage or probability for each cell we will use the original uh, frequency divided by the grand total for each column. So try to compare this with the row percentage cross tabulation. So row cross um, percentage cross tabulation is use each cell divided by grand total for each row, and a column percentage cross tabulation is use each cell divided by the grand total of each column. So now let's starting from our first column. So the first cell in first column in our second, so first put your mouse in the uh, first cell of second, uh, first column in our second pasted uh, cross tabulation, and uh, type in the equal sign, and uh, choose the first cell in the first column from your mother table, and uh, divide by the grand total of the mother, uh, the first column in the mother table, and find F4, and push F4. So now you fixed the. Uh, uh, denominate, uh, denominator in the first 
uh, sell, then push enter. So it got zero. So now we will use the powerful function from Excel. So we will drop drop it down instead of drop to the right. So we drop it down because we are working on each column in this uh, kind of cross tabulation. So now we will use the same procedure to finish the second, third, fourth, and the last column. So for the second column, in first in the second pasted uh, cross tabulation, type in the equal sign. And then go back to your mother table, choose the first cell in the second column, and divide by the grand total of the second column. Before you push the enter, push F4, and push enter. And now we can drag it down. Then we finish the second column. And the third column, type in equal sign, go back to the mother table, choose the first cell in the third column, and divide by the grand total of the third column, and push F4 click enter and then you can drag it down and uh, now we use same method to finish the fourth and the fifth column and uh, now we can just delete the um, the grand total. So now again you can convert it to percentage. So this is the row percentage cross tabulation and a column percentage cross tabulation. So the last one I want to introduce to you is called the joined probability cross tabulation. So the joined cross uh, joined uh, mm, probability cross tabulation means you want to see the probability for each cell and uh, uh, in terms of the whole sample size so in the previous email we I, a previous video I mentioned the interaction between two grand total here is our total sample size so what we will do is we will use each cell to divide by our grand the total sample size here so again we will copy our mother table and the paste as value only and let's name it called a joint probability cross cross tabulation so again everything we're doing here is we try to convert the frequency inside the table to probability and what we will do is use each cell divided by the total sample size. So the total sample size is the interaction between two grand total. So that's first finish the first cell in first column. So if put, choose the first cell um, in the first column in your second paste um, cross tabulation and type in the equal sign and the choose the first cell uh, in your mother table and uh, divide by the inter action between two grand total your sample size then before you push the enter again we will keep updating the numerator but not the denominator so you need to push F4 to fix your denominator and enter OK so since every cell here will divide by the grand total this grand total the total sample size so for all the cell the numerator denominator will not change so you can either first drop down and drop to the right or first drop to the right and drop down so let's see if we first drop down and uh, then you select all the cell now don't make sure you select all the cell instead of one cell so all the all the cell in first column and the push the mouse to the right down corner and the cross change to the dark uh, black color and the drag to the right so now that is our joint probability cross tabulation. So uh, in this case, uh, you can find we have too many decimal places, and uh, we can reduce our uh, decimal places, for instance, to two decimal places by right click the mouth and find the format cells. And then choose the number as the number, all the number as numbers. And then you can adjust the. Uh, uh, decimal places as I said two decimal places and then click OK 
So this is our joint uh, probability cross tabulation. So uh, after we created the three different uh, um, version of cross tabulation, the more important you need to know is how to interpret it, the number in each cell. So for instance, let's see, uh, in our row percentage cross tabulation, 60% here. So 60% here means for the student who has already got the ACT, uh, who already got the uh, GPA between 1 to 2, and we can expect their ACT score is between 15 to uh, 19, uh, 19 point, and we have 60% of students like that. So if you do the comparison, and you will see that we have for the student who have ACT score between 1 to 2, uh, GPA between 1 to 2, and majority of them have ACT score is between 15 to 19 points. So in this row percentage across the tabulation, any number showing in the cell is the uh, comparison within the row. However, for the column, so let's see 62% uh, here. So the 62% here telling us for the student who has already got the ACT score between 25 to 29, we have higher probability or higher percentage to expect the student have the GPA between 3 to 4 points. So any comparison is within the column. So that's why I call column uh, percentage cross tabulation. However, if we look at the uh, joint probability cross tabulation, and uh, there is some difference. So for instance, let's see here we have 0 0.13, 0 0.13. So this is telling us if we randomly pick a student, and we will find uh, the probability for us to find student get the ACT score between 25 to 29, and their GPA is 2 to 3 point is um, 0 0.13, uh, 13% or the probability is 0.13. So this is a joint, so which means both situations should happen at the same time. So we consider the whole sample size. So you need to spend time to try to understand uh, how to interpret a different type of cross.